the Kickback Jacks. Good to see you again. Good, Good job, to see boys. you. Had those ribs last week. I got to say, the best ribs I've had in a long, long time. <laughs> They're All awesome. Real. So, yeah, I love them. I get them every week, man. It's I that slow it. cooked rib. I mean, you can't go wrong. We cook them overnight. So we've got to get Don Moore. We've got to get Don Moore into the rib group. You're not into ribs, man. Those are my favorite yeah. things. Yes, yes, yes. Love those ribs. And like you say, you uh, cook them overnight. I don't, I, when I was young, we soaked them overnight, but now you cook them overnight. When we we actually we're gonna slow cook them slow overnight. Cook them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Absolutely fantastic. That's how they fall off the bone. Then well, we actually do. grill them. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah, wow. and they're, and they're I mean, seasoned. It really, keeps that meat together then. Yeah. It does. And then sauce them, put them on that plate. Man, I'm telling you, it comes with hand-cut fries. When you come and every day, you can't go wrong with yeah, them. Yeah, you can't beat that. Plus, the, the, uh, the size of the order was outstanding. I mean, you got so many ribs, you could actually watch the first half of the ball game and have plenty of ribs. Have another rib left game. for the next yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, it's like plenty of ribs. I love those ribs. Yeah. Good stuff with the ribs. I've had that... Uh, had the big burger, we call the big burger again, the old fashioned burger, I think it is. Had that a couple of times. Dennis, what'd you get last week? The ribs. I, I stick with the ribs. Yeah, every okay. week I'm ribbed, I'm, man. I'm, I'm stuck on Alex ribs. I'm with those, uh, those tater tots and chili. Got to get that this week, I think. You got to try them. I mean, they're the best thing on the menu. We're not going to have them around for much longer. Yeah, we got like some new said, stuff coming out soon. Yeah. yeah, it's getting flipped at the end of this yeah. month. Alex, is I believe this towards okay. that time, maybe right, a little right. later, but yeah, we're, we're working How'd towards that. How'd your football crowd go last weekend? It was awesome. I mean, Saturday was great for us on top of it to start with. I mean, we were it, we were full from the moment we opened. It was great. And then Sunday, you know, you can't go wrong when all the games are the early games. I mean, we had a, we were lucky we ended up with that Cowboys game that oh, ended up Dallas being a Green great Bay one game. at the end. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it was... Aaron Rodgers got to go down some kind of football history. He's got to have some special spot for him at the Hall of Fame. He's got to be in that Hall of Fame. The comeback games he's orchestrated over the past couple years. There's crazy. a reason he's on my fantasy team man. every single season. He is the main Yeah, that's now. one to keep on your fantasy team. Man. It's, yeah. The old double check. He, he's a sensational guy. He's, he's sensational. Yeah, and the, and the receiver Rodgers, I mean, that guy, I mean, those guys together could probably walk toward the, the stage or the platform of the Hall of Fame on induction day. I'm sure they're going to be together. In Crazy that. stuff. Mm -hmm. How about the Panthers? That's the big news tonight. Panthers 825 on uh, the NFL Network and on CBS. Any way you like it, any way you slice it, kick back Jacks tonight. Panthers and Eagles. How about that game? I got the Panthers shutting the Eagles down. Mm -hmm. I just think it's their time. I think they've finally started to heat up after last week. And and uh, I think I'm really impressed. I think McCaffrey's going to do do some work tonight. Uh, Cam Newton's been throwing lights out lately. I mean, it's turned into a, a much better team than they were week one when we started this season. And then Nick Dixon last week, he was like the, the king of receiver. Yeah he, yeah. he came into his own, and as you said, if he can repeat that tonight, that would be big for the Panthers. But you know he's going to be covered differently tonight, but he oh, yeah. runs good routes. I mean, he gets open. He can't get to the end zone. He has that last step. He's got to get that extra step back. He lost at uh, Baltimore back in the day. But, man, the guy can catch, the guy can run, and uh, the Panthers can win. And they have played two great quarterbacks. They beat Matthew Stafford, who was coming back at them on one leg. And before they beat Tom Brady, I mean, next up, was it Carson Wentz? That's the guy tonight? It's Carson Wentz Carson tonight. Wentz, wow. You got to watch out, though. He's got some legs on him, too. He's yeah. got an arm. He, he's an explosive quarterback. And then, you know, he's he got a had, great running back. Yeah, he had that good uh, – yeah, that's what I was telling Andy, that good offensive line as well. So it's going to be a great game. It's going to be – and uh, I, I love what the Panthers is doing, recognizing Sam Mills, yeah, uh, who brought in the famous saying, keep pounding. And, I, and it's just amazing what Sam Mills meant to this defense. And Thomas Davis can certainly tonight, him along with uh, Shaq Thompson, pound, pound, pound. And as you said, you know, stop Keekly's that awesome pound. running back. Keekly's pounding the He's seat. a man. He, he's, yeah. Luke Keekly is almost like uh, the ribs here at Kickback oh, Jack. He's going to be ready overnight, you yeah. know? You can rely on him day in and day yeah. out yeah. to meet the needs yeah. that you have, Absolutely. just like our ribs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> a receiver to ribs. Hit them in ribs and the meat's going to fall off. Right. Right. <laughs> the way that guy connects. I mean, he hits you. You put so much into it. He hits. Just yeah. He tough, plays right? every snap like it oh, could yeah. be his last one, and You're that's the key kidding. there. I mean, he, he just kidding. goes out with his heart. And, and Sam Mills goes back, I think, to Montclair State of New Jersey. He played in the USFL with the Baltimore Stars, Philadelphia Stars. Right, he, right. he didn't have an easy road. He went from the USL, USFL to the NFL. To the NFL, and the Saints yeah. had a great career there. Then to the Panthers, and yeah. just a great leader. A great Absolutely. Career. Like Warren Moon and Doug Flutie, that was the same route. You know, Herschel Walker, all those guys, that was their route to get into 
Oh, oh, he was only like five foot nine. Yeah. He was a small guy, weighed about 212 pounds, but man, that guy could he, cover the field. Oh man, he, he can certainly do the best. And he when he was back there a little while with Kevin Green. There was not a crazier yes. Yes. linebacker from the game. <laughs> Kevin Green was crazy, but he was a heck of a player for the Panthers. Yeah, but he yeah, did Lala and all those guys, they just uh, hardly, uh and even now, Howie Long, a lot of people look at Howie Long now and don't just realize yeah. his persona of the game, man, he was he was tough. He was a and, menace. and that's Lou Kinkley, and that's just like the menus here at Kickback Jack. Um tonight, what is gonna be that pounding? What's what's gonna be that pounding on the menu that wow. the Panther fans gonna come in? All the wings. All the fried and grilled wings so, that your heart could that's desire. That's Don Moore. That's Don Moore. That's Don Moore yeah. right there. <laughs> so keep pounding, but about a pound of wings, right? Get about a pound of wings. Yeah, get, get 30 or 40 of them. Yeah, yeah. Keep wow. pounding with keep those pounding. wings. Yeah. Well, you'll need them during that Panthers game because that's going to be a good ball game tonight. And you've got college games still cooking, too. Get yeah. The weekend. Uh, we've got a, a lot a good college lineup this weekend. we got the Red River, ri the Red River Rivalry. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Red I'm... Rover, Red Rover, so Red <laughs> River Rivalry, right uh, over, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's some, there's some great games. I know that's probably the biggest one this weekend just for history, but then uh -huh. uh, except in the SEC and the ACC, there's a couple of great games coming out of that. Yeah, what about noon on Saturday? Kind of piques my interest, that NC State-Pittsburgh game coming up on Saturday. Have yeah, that? that's going to be a good one. Um, you know, I think NC State, they're the real deal. I think Pittsburgh doesn't stand a chance. I think NC State is really – Gonna blow some people out of the water, and you know. With for you on the big screen here last week, I enjoyed watching that game. That yeah. was, yeah, that was Andy impressive. Durham. Andy Durham and his ribs last <laughs> week. Don and I left him here. He's a wolf pack. Oh, He's man. a diehard wolf pack. He I was, loves his wolf pack. I was a little ribs. wolf last week. Yeah, yeah. I love those ribs and the results those ribs brought for NC State makes me almost want to come back here Saturday buy another buy another place. If they get behind them, listen, I'm gonna sneak in here, sneak in and get some ribs. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Hey, you know what? That's what I do when I'm off. I gotta come in here and watch the game because it's like my good luck charm. I gotta have right. the same good meal, charm. yeah, same thing yeah. every time. You know, for me, it's those wings, the dry rub, grilled wings. Ooh. And you had the heels in Notre Dame last week. Yeah, tough yeah. loss to the heels, but uh, heels back in action against Virginia this week. You mentioned Oklahoma, Texas, Oklahoma has been knocked off. Now they lost, but again, they're gonna want to win bad Absolutely. coming back this week. Oklahoma's had that one game they've lost every season for the last few yeah. few years. Yeah, that was their right. game. This they're gonna, this is gonna be their wake up call wake if they have one. Ready. If they don't win this game coming off this, coming off that loss, then I don't think they're going to do much for the rest of the season. It's not going to be very pretty for them in their first year coach. We talked about it last week, too. We were talking about the big New England game last week, how New England could do the Panthers a favor against Tampa Bay. And what they did, they went out and beat Tampa Bay. Just a great win to hang on to win that game last Thursday night. Yeah, that defense was too much with Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston is one of the quarterbacks that if you give him an opportunity, he can rip you apart. But it was pressuring him. They, they would just put a lot of pressure on him. And that's what the Panthers are going to have to do tonight. Put a lot of pressure on Wentz. Put a lot of pressure on him. Make him throw those short passes. And when you throw short passes against a Carolina team, man, you're talking about doing my old dance step. I like three, in, three steps and a kick. So that's going to help the Panthers out early. The other thing is you're looking at it. They are both young quarterbacks. Yeah, they are going to make both a lot of them. mistakes. This, they're, they're not that good. They've right. got some. They've got a lot of growth to do, and I just don't think they have it against Cam Newton in that defense. That defense is experienced. They're powerful. They're going to come out and play every snap, and I, I just don't see how the Eagles got it. And. I hate to say it, I think Carson Wentz has a lot of potential. He's just not there yet. And when he throws that short pass, Luke Keekley gets that ball so quick. So quick. He's oh, man. So quick. Wow. He tackles, he buries people into the ground. There's no yards after that catch, no. and you can't do that on a short, and short if he, play. If he misses a tackle, he got burned one time like last week. Uh, Keekley, did he miss a tackle? He comes back after that. You might as well forget it. You might as well forget it. I wouldn't want to run the ball. I wouldn't want to be anywhere <laughs> near him. You call a play going to No, 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 He's no. He's going to make up that and kill somebody. No doubt about yeah. it. Are the Panthers your favorite team right now? To win this week, the Panthers are my favorite team. I'm going to be honest with you. I, uh, I also think you that... You said it's going to be a shutout, so there's no way they can lose. Uh, <laughs> I think they're going to get shut down, maybe not shut out. But they, right. they, they, it's going to be tough for them. You know, there, There's a couple other good locks that you can pick in. You know, The 49ers aren't going to come out with a win this week. They, they struggled last week against the Herd Indy team. Couldn't pick that one out. I don't think they've got it this week. Um, those are pretty much the two picks that I'm going to take for you. You know, Carolina winning, 49ers losing if you're looking for two games. So, so Alex, is the fans coming in? I'm seeing a lot of the Carolina jerseys already at the bar. They begin to, to come in. I've got 60 or 70 people here already for that Carolina game with their wow. spots. Really good. Spots knocked out, a couple of parties. You know, we got 
15 top, I got a set, I got a 10, I got another 12. Got places wow. for large parties during these weekday games. It's a little bit harder on Sunday, you know, but uh, place for Carolina football is right here. Carolina Panthers football source, Cape Bay Jackson Battleground. They got the pregame, then they got the game at 825, the kickoff from uh, Bank of America Stadium, Sam Mills night. You got Cam Newton versus Carson Wentz. You got Alex A L E X, and the L stands for lock. He's locking down for us. <laughs> locking down with the Panthers. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. It's a pleasure. Thank you again. Good work, yes, sir. It's good.